Hey, Mike here. Today I'm going to help out a client set up their Apple TV such that they can easily share, you know, photos and videos from their iPhone over to their Apple TV to connect it onto their TV. So there's going to be a couple ways to do this. Uh, we're going to try to stick it with it in the Apple ecosystem, meaning that we are just going to use Apple Photos and then we're also going to set up and make sure that the AirPlay is working out just fine and then show him how to do it so that he knows how to do it himself. Well, once this is set up, you're good. So I didn't want to bore you with all the settings on setting up the Apple TV. Basically, you have to log in to your Apple iCloud account. Make sure that on your iPhone, you are going over to settings and going over to the very top where it usually has your name on there and has Apple account information right over there. And just make sure that you're logged into it and that you're actually paying for an Apple iCloud account. So uh, that way, any photos that you take will automatically be synchronized to the Photos app, which is just looks like this right over here and also looks exactly the same as that on your Apple TV. Once you do that, all your photos will eventually sync. It'll take a little while depending on how fast your internet is, and then you'll be able to see them. But the other major thing that my client had uh, wanted to do was to share exactly what was going on on the phone screen to, sh to broadcast on a TV. In case he's entertaining, he wants to share something directly from the phone. So for the iPhone, 8, uh, iPhone iOS, there's a new way to do that and that's to actually show the entire screen on here using screen mirroring. And it's a simple swipe from the top right hand corner. It's gonna be like this. And then you'll see something that looks like a control panel over here. And in this control panel, you're looking for the icon that looks like this. It won't be exactly the same spot for everyone depending on how you've configured your uh, iPhone. But it's gonna look the one that looks like it's two rectangles. Uh, so I'll do that again. It'll on the main screen, it'll look like it's the two rectangles right there. And when you do that, it'll choose screen mirroring. And then you have a few choices on where you want to send it. You can send it to a Mac nearby if you have one that's also on the same Wi-Fi, or you can select any number of Apple TVs or any other Apple devices to send it to. Once you choose where it is, what might happen is on your TV screen or on a screen that you're sending it to, it's gonna have a passcode. You're gonna to have to look at the screen and type in a passcode on here. And that's something you can configure yourself, whether or not you want that to have a passcode on there for anybody to airplay to, or whether or not you wanna keep it locked down. And that's something I'm not gonna go over because generally most people are using the Apple TV in a home environment and uh, being able to control that in your home is really something really easy as opposed to when you're in the office and you have multiple people on the same network with their iPhone. So once you do that, it'll just mirror everything that you see on a screen, uh, on a screen on your phone, onto the big screen on your Apple TV. There is something to note though, is that the resolution won't necessarily match because you might have a 4K TV or an 8K TV or some really high resolution screen. In that case, uh, you know, you're only going to see the, the, vertical portion or portrait portion of this unless unless you're playing something such as from an app that supports direct uh, mirroring or airplay mode. Now I was going to show him how to do the airplay thing and the problem was that there were too many steps involved for him and in the particular case with this was like if you're trying to show something from let's say a media streaming app or uh, for YouTube for instance. So this is how you do that from there from YouTube you could just open up the YouTube app and then, and when you're playing something, I'm, I'm just gonna play something, one of my videos over here, and you see at the top, the top portion of the screen over here, there's gonna be what looks like a wireless signal next to uh, the screen, or a square. You're gonna tap that, and then you're gonna choose AirPlay and Bluetooth devices. And then you gotta choose from any number of the devices that you have available to AirPlay to. So if you do this, it'll basically send the signal over to the device and have it play sometimes uh, natively if the app is supported over there or it will just use the whatever whatever the app is that's available to be able to broadcast everything and in a case like that it then will then make a connection by itself from wi-fi to uh, play and it'll play in a higher quality setting whatever uh, setting is supported by your tv or by the content that's being sent out so that's really the best way to do it as opposed to screen mirroring uh, off of the phone but Again, it's a couple of steps and not everybody's going to necessarily remember how to do that. In this case, this was just a little bit too complicated. So we just left it at that. Um, 
You could just use the YouTube app, for instance, on your Apple TV, and that's not going to be a problem too. So, um, you know, the, you have many different ways to do it. But if your app supports it, obviously, you can then do the AirPlay from there. And then you can then fully control it from your phone on what you want to broadcast and share. One other thing that I really like now with, uh, with the advent of, of the QR codes and being used everywhere since COVID happened is that even for signing in for things, if you already signed in on your phone, a lot of times applications will allow you to just scan a QR code, link it and, and verify some information and then you're good to go. So you don't need to type in those long passwords or logins or passphrases to log into accounts such as like YouTube, for instance. So that's something I definitely appreciate and something you should definitely take advantage of. Just sign in on your phone first.